Hi, in this lecture, we're going to see the laptop motherboard integrated circuit. So, as you can see here, we have many integrated circuits. Okay, so in many different shape, as you can see. So, for this, for example, this big integrated circuit, this is the super I/O in the laptop motherboard, as you can see, with pins in four sides and we have this kind with dual pin in just two sides, okay? So always do integrated circuit, you will find a point or a dot with a mark means the pin number one, as you can see. This mark means pin number one, as you can see, two, three, four, etc. And this is the direction. So here we have 32, 33, 64, 65, as you can see here, 96, 97, and the total is 128, and this is the direction, okay? Counterclockwise of reading, okay? So, always the same working principle for this IC, for example, we have this dot here, means this is the pin number one, okay? As you can see, and this is the direction of reading, the counterclockwise, okay? We have this IC also, this is a power management IC, a 3 volt, 5 volt power management IC. We have the dot here and the mark, the triangle mark here, means this is the pin number one. Okay, so counterclockwise, as you can see. Okay. For this, as you can see, we have U, this is a MOSFET. Do you see the dot here? As you can see, means this is the pin number one, two, three, etc. These three pins are source, the fourth pin are gate, and the other pins are the drain. So here, as you can see, we have another power management IC, as you can see. So as you can see, we have this power management IC also. It has the dot here, as you can see, with the triangle, okay? The dot, okay, as you can see. With the triangle here means this is the pin number one, as you can see, and this is the direction of reading. The same working principle, as you can see. Okay? So if you have any failed IC, you can just check it using your finger. If you feel that is hot, very hot, then the IC is bad. Okay? Or you can check the capacitors, the ceramic capacitors around it. Normally, the ceramic capacitors around it, around it should not be shorted to the ground in the belt sides. Okay. If you find any shorted capacitor to the ground, means the IC is damaged. You should replace it. Okay. So I'm going to show you the ceramic capacitors in this circuit. This is a 0.9 volt power management system, as you can see. Here we have the IC, as you can see. Okay? You can check it using your finger. And here we have the ceramic capacitors, as you can see, around the IC. The IC and the 5 volt. Here also, connect to the ground in one side and to the power rail, as you can see. The VDD, 1.8 volt. So, if you find any shorted capacitor, in both sides means the IC is bad. You will find this working principle in every IC. Here we have the ground, as you can see. The ground is connected to all capacitors in one side, and the other side is connected to the IC and to the power rail, as you can see, 0 0.9 volt. Let's see the other capacitors here also. It is connected to the ground and in the second side to the IC.